Hi students, welcome back to this uh, online class. Hope you have understood the first two units. And now we are moving to the third unit, and a supplement reader. Okay, so now let us uh, move on to the last uh, supplement reader. That is the heading, the first patient. So you all might have experienced as a patient. So what are the pain you had in your mouth? Toothache, okay? So toothache, how you have experienced? Whether it is a very, it is bearable? You cannot bear at all, right? Whatever, even fever, you can take rest and you will be able to manage that. But uh, toothache is a very, you cannot bear at all, right? You cannot tolerate that pain, okay? So here, we are going to see about the person, dentist. So how he is uh, treating the patient there. That is a uh, uh, lesson here. So many people are there waiting in front of the dentist room. Many patients are waiting there. So how they are experiencing the situations. You might have experienced a different situation waiting in the dentist room, right? So like that here also many people, there is a men one to eight, nearly eight members of men itself are there, and women also one to eight are there. Nurse and little boy, little girl, this many persons are there waiting in front of the dentist room. Okay, so that is only the story. So here the writer, C.V. Burgess, let us move on to about the author. Take page number 98 about the author. Christopher Victor Burgess is his full name. So shortly they will call him as C. V. Burgess, right? Christopher Victor Burgess. He is known as C. V. Burgess. He is a humorous playwright. So this story also how it is going to be, it is a very humorous story. So at the end some twist he has kept. And before that we have each and every characters how they are entering. There will be a lot of uh, comic there, right? It is a humorous play. His situational humor intensifies the emotions of the characters in the play. So here he has, uh, according to the situation, we will make the comic, right? We will make a lot of comedy. So like that here, the uh, situations makes a very great uh, comic. Uh. So that is given in these characters. And uh, emotions of the characters in the play, his plays usually accom accommodate a number of characters. So always his plays, C.V. Burgess plays everything. There will be lot of number of characters, okay? Not one or two characters, many numbers. So we can see here number one to eight men is that woman one to eight member are there. So like that number of characters will be there in his playwright. Okay, his famous works are short plays for large classes. So many plays he has written, that is his works, short plays for large classes. Another one more work, teach yourself speech training. Then classroom playhouse was in action. This all his works up. Okay, so you understood about uh, uh, Christopher Victor Burgess, right? So now let us move on to the uh, supplement reader lesson. The first patient, take page number 90. Before moving to the lesson, let us move on to warm up. Given below is a list of tools and equipment Associate them with the appropriate profession and complete the table. So here they have given some tools and equipment is given. So you have to match according to their profession. Okay, so you can go for doing that. So they have given a lot of uh, words, that is tools and equipment is given. Pluff, hammer, oven, thermometer, voltmeter, wood, chisel. What is meant by chisel? We will say in Tamil, Uli, right? Seed drill, voltage detector, cutting boards, stone picker, spatula. What is meant by spatula? A spoon like, uh, you will be having the picture like, uh, the end will be like this, right? That is called spatula. Okay, and uh, cultivator, nail puller, wire strippers, framing square, fork, flashlight okay so this many tools they have given tools and equipments they have given you have to 
separate that divide in like a professions okay here the professions they have given farmer carpenter electrician chef okay according to that you have to separate this tools now one already it is given pluff is given in the form of farmer right so other th things are you can write you can choose it and you can write do that and let me give you the answer for that in the place of farmer you can write pluff seed cultivator stone picker in the place of uh, carpenter hammer wood chisel nail puller framing square electrician is given next column thermometer voltmeter voltage detector wire strippers flashlight next column chef oven fork spatula cutting board okay so if i hope you have completed that first part second one is given play the role of any character read aloud to enjoy this amusing play where the unexpected turns turn off events along with the wild imagination and add humor to the situation is in a dentist clinic so here you can uh, go for a play act as a play you can assume that you are acting as a any role play right so next we will move on to the next lesson that is the characters we will see already i told you what are the characters men 1 to 8 nearly 8 members are there women 1 to 8 8 women are there and dentist is there and nurse is the little girl that is her name is uh, uh, dorothy and small boy is the maurice okay so the, this many characters are there so these people this man one and men woman uh, one to eight and the little girl and boy everyone they are waiting in the place of out of the dentist room this uh, nurse what she is doing she is in between she is uh, moving here and there so you might have seen for calling the names the next patient they will be coming no? for that the nurse will be calling the names or they will be arranging in a proper way Okay, so the nurse, what she's doing, she's moving here and there in front of the dentist room. So you can imagine this situation, the place, how it is. Uh, so uh, it is a very humorous play and uh, in front of the uh, dentist clinic, uh, the persons, they are sitting and they are talking among themselves. Okay, so who has to go forward and uh, what they are doing, what is happening, surroundings, everything in a humorous way. He has written in like a playwright, that is like a drama wise, he has written. Okay, so let me read and explain that. So now, scene, when the curtain rises, the following characters are seated in a dentist waiting room. So now, the, uh, like a player, uh, it is going on, so the screen is opening. So when the curtain rises, what is happening? Everyone are seated in front of the dentist waiting room. And uh, women 1 and 1 to 8, and men 1 to 8, everyone are sitting there. Some of them are reading magazines of new or newspapers. So usually they'll keep some magazines or newspapers for the waiters to read, right? So that one they are reading and uh, many may not read. I mean, just for looking the pictures, you will be sitting and you will be watching like that. Few are there, okay? So man four has a rough bandage tied uh, around his jaw. So one man, he's sitting. Uh, there is a rough bandage. It is not a, a professional bandage made by the dentist. Simply for himself, he had made a rough bandage around his jaw that is a man four so you have to you, there is no name particular name for all the persons man one man two like that only it is given so one or two names alone will be given man one name is actually joe it will be introduced later so here man four what he is doing he is uh, having his uh, uh, bandage in his jaw and uh, he is holding the bandage and groaning groaning what is mean by groaning crying in pain so when you are getting pain, you will not be able to tolerate, right? So like that, with the pain of uh, that, he is crying. And man three, woman five, and woman six are just entering the waiting room. So now who are all the persons entering into the waiting room? Man three, woman five, and woman six. This many members, they are entering into the waiting room, right? Okay, so now this uh, play is going to start with the woman five. So let us see what are the... Uh, characters they have 
woman five well sorry we will have some time to wait before the dentist see us dear so the woman five is sitting there and she is waiting there so before we are going to see the dentist we have to wait here like that she is sitting there so woman six so i see so she is also accepting that woman five but i will show you some of my holiday photographs to pass the time so this character you can understand woman five is always what she is doing she shows the photograph okay so you can understand that woman five's character is like showing albums to the other members so as uh, till they are going to see the dentist what they have to do they have to uh, they have to time pass right so for the time pass watch woman five is telling i have some album so that photographs i will show you like that she is showing to the other person so man three woman five and woman six sit down woman five takes a packet of photographs from her bandage throughout the play she concentrates on showing her photographs so from the first scene to the last scene you can see that woman five what she is doing always uh, her character is showing the photograph to the other okay so when there is a play some persons will do the same characters right so one person will be moving here and there that is a person here nurse okay woman five character is showing the pictures to the others okay so now man five what time do you make it jack so he is asking to the other person jack so what is the uh, person's name woman man six name is jack so man 5 is asking to the other person to jack man 6 is jack almost 8:30 the dentist should be along any moment now so now the time is 8:30 so the dentist will be able to come along this time along this time he will be able to come so we have to wait there so woman say isn't it a dreadful hour of the morning to see a dentist i am not half awake at all so it is a dreadful means it is a bad hour so when you are going to the hospital if you are, there is no patients you will be very happy you don't want to wait that right you will be very easily you can move and uh, you can see the doctor but uh, the dreadful hour that is a very great uh, timing a very sh a busy schedule no that moment what will happen you there will be a many persons will be waiting you will be getting irritated to see the doctor so there is a dreadful hour man fine i hope he won't be long i am going to uh, be late for work anyway so now the uh, doctor he will not be able to come here very earlier he'll take long he won't be much long he'll be coming now but anyway i will be late to my work i am very I, i have to take permission to go for my work he says and man six is replying something should be done about dental hours i have always said so and i will go on saying so so you might have seen many persons what they will be doing they will never do anything in their actions only they will be saying they will be telling and telling going on but uh, it will never happen so he is telling that a dentist hours the uh, doctors when they have to come the time should be very clear like that he is telling so this time they will be at 9 uh, o'clock if the doctor uh, will come means they have to come so the timing should be very proper like that he says uh, but uh, nobody is uh, listening nobody is obeying that rules right so they will be going on their wish up so he is telling always i will be telling this up uh, but nobody is ready to hear so but also i will be still going on saying this uh. so now at this moment who is entering nurse is entering in the dentist uh, waiting room woman says good the dentist should not be long now so he, as the nurse enters they are telling your yeah, dentist will not be taking much long to come because the nurse came now woman five and this is one of the boarding hours at a uh, wedding on sea so underline the word wedding on sea a boarding house those are the steps i fell up we nearly died laughing so the boarding hours uh, um, this is the one of the boarding hours means the play time when they used to go that is in the wedding of sea wedding on sea means it is a one place so in that place the boarding uh, house what they have done they have to 
get into so very everybody they started to laugh by her talker and women saying it looks quite a nice place so that place is a very nice one and women find oh it was it was and the landlady was a yeah, dear so they are talking about that place uh, that is in the boarding house they were sitting you no know, so about that woman five and woman six they are talking by showing the pictures so uh, woman five already i told you what is her character she used to show the photograph so now she is showing that this is the place of boarding place and uh, they are showing the uh, uh, they are showing very happiest moment everything they shows by showing the picture woman five shows another photograph so she is not stopping her attitude again and again she is showing the next photograph this is one of hers you can't quit as you quite see her face so this photograph she is showing one more photo and she is telling you can't see her face here you see my fingers got in the way but she has such a nice face so when you are taking the photograph some faces will not be clear you will be showing some hands or some things and the other other one's face will be hiding right so like that because of her fingers are there her face is hiding but actually her face looks very nice like that she is explaining about the next photograph to the other person to woman 6 she is explaining and woman says i am sure she has a so yeah she is also accepting that she has a good face into woman seven and the little girl so the little girl what is her name dorothy so uh, her mother is the person she is entering the she is a woman seven so woman seven who is the person mother of dorothy right so you have to think all the characters what uh, woman one woman two woman three if i say you have to identify the characters right? that's why i have given the gist here okay so now woman seven enters with the little girl woman seven who oh, do come along dorothy so she is introducing her name come come along with me dorothy she is calling her little girl little girl is coming there who is the little girl dorothy I don't want to see the dentist. I won't. I won't. So usually the small children they don't like to see the doctors, right? For what reason? Because of the injection, right? So here this Dorothy also she is telling that I don't want to see the dentist like that. She is crying and she is uh, hesitating to come into come to meet the doctor. Woman seven. Now Dorothy, remember what your daddy said. If you won't have your teeth seen to, no more eyes lollies. Ice lollies means like a flavored ice creams on this uh, uh, stick, right? One stick will be the among that ice creams will be flavored, right? So that lollies because of eating all these uh, lollies, ice lollies, what is happening? Her teeth, everything has damaged. So she is telling to his uh, uh, sorry to her daughter, if you are not going to meet the dentist, your father said that hereafter you won't buy the small lollies. Okay, little girl, I don't want any ice lollies. So usually the children, whenever we say something, what they will do, they will be reacting in the sudden as now I don't want anything, right? So he, she is also telling as I don't want her ice lollies, I don't want to see the dentist also. The little girl is dragged to her seat by woman seven. She sits weeping, man four groans loudly. So now the woman, what she is doing, she is dragging, she is dragging it, she's pulling her, pulling the little daughter towards making her to sit up. So she is sitting there and what she is doing, she is weeping, weeping means crying, she started to cry. So at the same time, the other person, man four, what he is, he will be doing, man four is the person, always he loves cry, loud cry. Okay, making always a cry that with a loud voice, right? So uh, because of his uh, job uh, pain, he used to cry. So the from the first starting to the end of the story, what is the character? The woman five used to show the photograph to others. Woman man six, uh, his name is Jack. Woman seven is a uh, mother of a uh, little girl Dorothy. And man four used to cry from the starting to the end. Always he'll be having the pain and he'll be crying okay so you might have understood the character a little right okay now let us move on to the next one the woman four here is the dentist and woman three and about time two so now the dentist has to come the time was came and the dentist also he is going to enter the so they are talking about the dentist so here next one next scene enter dentist enter dentist means dentist came there and dentist could i have the first patient please so when he went into the 
uh, into his room he called the first patient so who is the first patient is going to enter man one is going to enter into the dentist room so he x is dentist into surgery so dentist what he is doing he is entering into the x going into the surgery room woman that's you joe so first man name is joe so man one what is his name joe so underline the word that so each characters when they are coming the, the name also it's introduced now man one and woman one stand so woman one came along with man one what she is doing she also stood as they call the first patient no so first patient name is joe and he is also is moving to meet the dentist woman one now make sure he pulls out the right one joe man one i will woman one good by joe i will wait for you so man one when he is moving into the doctor's room woman one is telling that make sure the doctor has to take the proper tooth not the any other tooth which is uh, um, which tooth you have a problem that tooth he has to take properly so make sure of the uh, proper way and she says and she is telling that she will be waiting at the other side exit man one into surgery woman one six so man one he went inside the surgery room and woman one she is sitting there woman two i believe the dentist is ever so good so woman two is giving a suggestion by sitting outside the dentist room she is telling yeah the dentist is uh, good woman three yes he took out a six for mrs uh, johnstone and never and she never felt a thing so how many tooth he has took for um, mrs johnstone nearly six tooth he took but uh, she never feel any the pain from that so it's the woman th three is telling about that enter woman eight with the small boy so now woman eight is entering with a small boy so what is the woman eight of? mother of small boy woman's uh, woman seven is the mother of little girl okay so now who is entering woman eight is entering woman eight now maurice there is nothing to be afraid of so he is calling the son name is uh, maurice so he is tell she is telling to the son you don't get any afraid nothing is going to happen and small boy i am not afraid woman eight just a little pull and you have such a veiny tug we need tug means small pull among the tug, small the bulged place of the wood uh, of the teeth no so that place a small pull alone they will be doing and the, all the pain will be gone so after taking out the uh, teeth uh, your pain everything you you will be reduced uh, so don't worry about that small boy there is no need to treat me like a baby i am not afraid of a dentist so the boy he is telling don't treat me like a baby don't tell me that you have to do like this you have to uh, uh, move like this like that don't suggest anything to me because i know everything i am not afraid of dentist and woman gate now sit down quietly maurice and i am sure the nice dentist won't be long so dentist soon they will be treating the patient so he won't take much time because he is a good man good dentist so you sit here we will be moving very soon and i think i will get a magazine i feel like reading so the small boy is telling soon i will be getting a magazine uh, give me a magazine i will be able to read he is uh, asking the small boy goes to the table and looks through the pile of magazines and newspaper so he is going for seeing the newspaper he is trying to take it from that and uh, what they will be doing usually the small kids what they will be doing they will be able to see only the pictures right so he is searching the magazine for seeing the pictures woman age all right dear you just as you like so you go and have your magazine woman age sits up so man find i am going to ask for gas gas means anesthesia so for without knowing getting the pain they have to do the treatment so he is asking for the anesthesia so it will, it will never able to find the pain there i will never forget the last time last time he had a very great pain so he feels that he don't want to get that same pain now so he is going to ask for anesthesia man one i knew a chap once chap one means there is a, a red and in color 
cracker that last time he had. So he remembers that. He asked for gas, that is anesthesia. It was the last time he ever asked for anything. So the last time he has never asked for a, uh, anesthesia anything. So he had that pain in his tooth. Mantu, is that a fact? So that because of not getting the anesthesia only, you have tried for that. So now here, the next paragraph, it says about uh, the nurse enters from the surgery room. She walks across the stage and exits left. So from one place to the other place, she is moving. As usual, she is a... Uh, uh, as she has, she is busy, she is moving from one place to the other place, right? Okay, so the next paragraph we will see in the next video, right? Thank you.